This is Micaela from Dancing in the Rain. Hi everybody, we're on Northeast Broadway at the Glass Slipper again. And this is part two of the dance shoe tutorial. And I just wanna show everybody um, what ballroom shoes look like and what your options are and things you need to know. So as we walk in, there's a lot of fun stuff, but we've got kids shoes. So if your kids are interested in learning to dance, there's lots and lots of lovely boys and girls shoes. Um, we've got closed toed and open toed and all kinds of fun stuff for the little ones. And the heels are usually a lot lower for these kids. And, you know, dress up clothes and that's a lot of fun. Here we've got some great lady shoes. Um, as you can see, there's all different colors. We've got, we've got purple shoes and we've got red and pink and silver and snakeskin and leopard print and all kinds of stuff. It's really important that when you come in to purchase your first pair of ballroom shoes or your second or third that you get properly fitted. Um, dance shoes do not run in the same sizes as street shoes. Not only do dance shoes not run the same, but a lot of ballroom shoes are made in Europe. And so the sizing is going to be completely different. So it's very, very important that you come in and get properly sized. Again, we're still looking at women's shoes here. Lots and lots of great shoes. Lots and lots of fun, fun stuff and strappy stuff and closed toed and tango and T strap and uh, lots of costumes. And here we go. Oh, jewelry. Very nice, you know, if you want to be sparkly. Uh, more women's shoes here. There's a lot of brands. Shirley carries a lot of different brands and a lot of different styles here at the Glass Slipper. Um, okay, so here's some men's styles mixed in. You've got patent leather, um, you've got regular leather, and some great new women's styles, which I hadn't seen before this year with the sparkle and the big buckle, which are popular right now, and some different looking shoes, very new. Um, these here are some practice shoes on this shelf right here. So these look a little bit like jazz shoes, except they have a heel. Um, and I'm going to show you one more bunch of shoes and then I'm going to, oh, here's some more men's shoes. We've got some sn fake snakeskin stuff or alligator and uh, some basket weave sort of thing. And then we've got the spats, which are my favorite. They've even got brown and um, some with two different types of leather so that it looks a little bit of texture to it. Fun stuff and of course some men's costuming as well. And over here we've got a lot more of the women's shoes and um, some unique styles. Again and here are the spats for men and for women which are a lot of fun. And there's even a heeled spat or two heeled spats actually and some sparkly closed-toed, lower-heeled shoes. These look great, lots of fun. All right, so um, one other thing is the shoes are gonna range in price from $99 to $250, so it is an investment. I highly recommend your first pair of shoe is, um, is black and is something that you feel like will go with almost everything that you would wear out dancing or in practice. And then as you um, break them in and wear them out, then you may decide you want to have more pairs of shoes, maybe a fancy pair for parties and maybe a practice pair. But I highly recommend your first pair is a really nice black uh, go with everything pair. Um, the other thing that's really important is purchasing a shoe brush. This is $10 here at the Glass Slipper. It's really affordable. You'll see the bristles are really hard, metal bristles. And I'll show you really quick what you do. And you're supposed to do this every time you wear them after, every time you wear them when you put them back in your shoe bag. But many times we forget. So I'm going to demonstrate really quick. So you would put the shoe like this. Make sure it's not right up against your knees, otherwise you're gonna scrape your knees, that'll hurt. And you're gonna just very gently, if you do this frequently, you won't need to push hard. You'll just take the brush and you'll brush gently on the diagonal one way, a few times, and then on the other diagonal, gently that way, okay? 
and um, and you'll notice the heels don't have suede on them. And it used to be that all heels had suede, but it just wears off so fast that they've since switched to some sturdier rubber. And it doesn't normally uh, mark up the floor. It's pretty nice stuff. Anyway, I hope this is helpful, and good luck on your shoe purchase. Bye.